Hey everyone, GoBots here, back today with a brand new episode for MLB The Show 20 relocation franchise here with the Arkansas Razorbacks in place for the Kansas City Royals. So we're picking up about where we left off. I simulated the uh, first two games of the Toronto series, which we split. We got an 8-0 win behind the arm of Danny Duffy, and then Brad Keller blew up, played a terrible pitching game right there. We got beat 15-7 to in game two. So we're going to jump in today to, for the third game out of a four-game series at Toronto. The Razorbacks are 10-3 and three atop the Central Division by a game over those Indians. Now we're getting ready to do battle here today against Toronto, who is currently 9-5 and five on the year. But again, I thank you all so, so much for tuning in today for this episode. If you enjoy what you see, hit that thumbs up button. I appreciate that. Comment down below. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a single uh video whatsoever here on the channel and feel free to subscribe here to go watch gaming become a part of this family here and help us reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give O'Hearn a day off because uh, I guess he's been struggling winning percentage look at that we have the top winning percentage in the league in the league y'all we're playing phenomenal baseball here these Razorbacks are as a uh, expansion team we do have a couple struggling players in there with Lopez and Puig uh, Prado is getting a start today. He's one of the rare starts he's got on the year. Lopez is playing phenomenal for us. Two starts, 2-0 and to start this year. But here we are. Afternoon baseball here getting into the action the here today. To be a good one here. From Rogers Center in Toronto. Toronto Blue Jays. Blue Razorbacks 10-3. and three. Toronto 9-5. and five. Now let's get into the action. Our like goal today, by the way, on the video is 30 likes. Let's see if we can hit that goal, y'all. I surely would appreciate that. So here we are coming to the plate, Mondesi. Batting 238 is our leadoff man. Not exactly what we need from him, especially with the type of potential he has. Our first pitch swing there, and a tough play by the second baseman. Wow. What a play. And that looked like that was going to be able to be a great start for us. Not going to happen. So Lopez to the plate. And he'll watch the four, the two seam come in for strike one. So an 0 1 count now here for Nicky Lopez. And a good sweeping curveball there, but we're not going to give a chase to that. So 1 1 count with one away. Good pitch there, but we didn't give a chase to that. So 2-1 count. If any of you are doing relocation franchises, comment down below what you're doing. Who, What is your brand new team that you've brought into the league, and what was the team they replaced? I'm interested to know uh, what you all are doing for relocation franchises, because I think it's a really, it's a, it's a wonderful thing to have here in the game. It's just missing one feature, and that is create your own stadium. So full count here for Lopez, who's just been watching all the assortment of pitches coming from Chase Anderson. And we're going to dribble that one off. Second baseman keeping you busy this half inning. And circle change is good enough for a ground out. Two away. Now I'll bring up one of our best players, and that is Whit Merrifield. Coming up to the plate here, two away. Here we go. And we're going to get on that one, but we're going to hit that shallow. No, it's carrying a little bit more than I thought. So it's a 1-2-3 inning. Gizmo. Gizmo's not very happy about that catch, y'all. He wanted that to be a, a, a base hit. So here's Jorge Lopez. He's been solid this year for his first two starts. 13 innings combined. Oh, let's see what he's a knuckleballer, eh? Fantastic. Strike one over the knees. Right. Knuckle curve, okay. Never mind. It's not a full straight knuckle ball. I thought it was a thought it was. It's a knuckle curve. We'll go away here from Jonathan Davis. Two one, okay. Staying away from you. He's fouling that one off. A lot of red in today's uh stadium. It's fantastic to see. A lot of Razorback fans here. I assume they're Razorback fans. They may be, they may be J fans, because I know they do have a uh, red alternate uniform they wear. But there's one away from Lopez. Bring up B Biggio. 
Any relation to Craig Biggio? I'm interested to know that. Chopper back to the mound. Lopez got it. Man, six pitches, two outs. Great start to the half inning. Bo Bichette coming to the plate. Missing outside there with the knuckle curve. So 1 0 count here. Gizmo. These are the times where I wish my dog didn't bark. I hate recording when he's barking. Sorry about that. I had to see what the matter was with him barking. A swing and a miss in the dirt. And that's it. It's a 1 2 3 start of the inning of the game here for the Razorbacks. As both offenses are uh, not getting much going on. Here comes Jorge Soler. He's been playing better as of late. Batting 273 now on this little hit streak he's got going on. And he's going to foul off the four seam he sees. 0 1 count. I just still haven't been able to hit well with this team. I don't think they're a very good hitting team overall. Now, there's a circle change we fell off. 0 2. God bless it. So nothing going there. Anderson gets the K. Puig will come to the plate. And he, talk about struggling. Puig is uh, not earning the paycheck we're paying him for that two-year contract. Not doing crap. This is inside there. 1-0 count to Puig, who uh, does not have good numbers against Anderson in his career. Eight strikeouts. Not good. That's a good outside fastball. Okay. So 1-1 one, one count. And he's going to turn in on that two seam, foul it and off. It's a 1-2 count now here to Puig. One away in the second against Anderson. And we're going to get on that one, but again, second baseman, he kind of muffs it, but not a big deal. Two away. So Salvador Perez, the catcher, coming to the plate. He's been a, a, an elite catcher for us this year. 333 batting average. Missing outside there, the four seam. Last seven games has three big home runs and 15 RBIs, y'all. That is incredible numbers. And he's going to foul off that one. But early. Got to figure out our timing. Missing off there. 2 1 count. And we're whew, a hanging curveball. He wishes, mm, man, we were just early on that. That could have been a blast. 2-2 two -two here to Salvador. We're going to dribble that one. Short stop. Easy play. Another 1-2-3 inning. It looks like we may be on, tower, on par for a uh, pitching duel here today. Teoscar Mendez, or Hernandez to the plate. Knuckle curve is in. Let's go with the change here. Swing and a miss over the changeup. 0-2 count here for Lopez. We're going to try to get you to tail away here with this knuckle curve. And he chased it. Easy play. One away. Good stuff, man. I'm liking this pitching staff we have. They're young. They're not overall elites or anything like that, but they're a young team overall. And we got a lot of really good stars coming up through the ranks as well. So I'm very excited about the future for this team uh, coming in. There's one blooped off right field. Puig's got it, squeezes it. Two out. So we're tooth and nail right there with what the Blue Jays have been doing on the mound today. Grickrick, Grickett, what's it? What a name. Lopez with the 1-0. Swing and a miss over the four seam. 1-1. One, one. Okay, I'm going to get you down here this knuckle curve. Swing and a miss over the knuckle curve. 1-2 one, count. One pitch away to get out of this inning. Let's go high and in on you here. The four seam. Swing and a miss. Down he goes. 1-2-3 innings across the board so far today in this matchup between the Jays and the Razorbacks. Perfection is on the board. 
Now here comes uh, Nick Prado, who's typically not a starter, but today he's given a oh, oh, Hearn a day off. So we'll see what he can do in a starting spot today for us. First pitch he sees, he sends to center field. Hit fairly well, but Davis has got it. One away. We got to make Chase Anderson work a little bit harder than he is right now. Here comes Franco. Franco. Not Franco. This is outside, four seam, 1 0. Franco played really well against Anderson in his career. Three home runs of 500 average. Wow. One one count here to Franco. And a four seam fouled off there. One two. Misses inside there with the circle brings it back two even. Oh man, let's go. Nope. Good little pitch, but I'm not going to chase it. Full count now here to Franco. One out. And a cutter that may have been ball four, depending on how this ump's outside zone is. But we chased at it, so another one. Mm. Wow. Okay. Anderson doesn't like it. We'll take it. Wow. And Phillips will come to the plate now here. That was all up in that quadrant, too. That was a strike three if I've ever seen it. But we'll take it. 1-0-1 one, oh, one now here on, and, on uh, Phillips. Mm. How early was I on that one? Well early. So no two now here for Phillips. Ooh. All right, that's the makeup call. And here comes Adalberto Mondesi. One out, or two out and one on. And he's going to pop it up. Sky high. Freaking kidding me. So we get a base runner by the means of a walk, but that's it. Still a hitless game here today. Let's see if Lopez can stay the course. Been pitching well so far. Let's try that again. And we missed that one. But fortunately, he keeps it in the yard. Merrifield's got it. One out. One out, we're doing well. So here comes Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Talk about the slugger, man. Here we go. Why is he batting eight? Oh, this ump. What is this strike zone you got out here today, man? It's so inconsistent. Okay, give me that one. Let's go to the two seam now. We're not going to be able to get there to that one. All right, so a one-two count here to Guerrero. Junior, and he's a free-swinging man. He's going to go free-swing to the bench on a strikeout. Third on the day for Lopez. And here comes another Guerrero. Gabriel. And that was crushed, but foul. Just barely. Nothing going there. Are they related? Guerrero, Junior, Guerrero, and this guy? I mean, it's kind of weird. Third baseman. Got it. Across. One, two, three innings. So both teams still perfect on the stat sheets. No hits allowed between either pitchers. And only a one base runner by means of a walk earlier. As we're in the fourth inning now here. We're going to go quick manage through these next two innings. Got our first single. Beautiful. The run comes in off Puig single. Bases loaded two out. Nothing going there. Okay. Single, so both people are all right. So we're going to the six. Both teams have hits now. We're up one nothing as we come to the plate with Soler. Both pitchers playing, pitching very well though here into the sixth thing. So here we go. 
Ball one outside. 1 0 count. Come on, give me something good to hit. Give me something good to hit. Fouls off the cutter. So a 1 1 count here to Soler. And a 1 0 lead for Arkansas here in the sixth. Oh, good. Good circle. Oh. Good pitch, though. You almost got me. You almost got me. Almost. Missing well outside with that one right there. So full count now here. Puig on deck to lead off this inning. And Solaire jumps on that one, but foul. Way too early. Another full count pitch coming. Oh. Okay. So Puig to the plate. One out. Nobody on. One oh. <sighs> Come on, I need to get some hits going, man. We only got two hits in this game. A lot of walks though. Okay, that's a good pitch. The way his arm angle is, it's hard for me to recognize fastball that early. Two one. Stay patient at the plate, good things will come. Two on here to Puig. Hmm. Evened out to a piece. Missing inside there with a curve. Full count again, and now Perez is on deck. And he's going to get that one. Oh, wow. And the second baseman takes away what should have been a single there, at least. Beautiful play from Biggio. Look at this. Yanked it, and then he just went up and got it. Beautiful play. And that will bring up Salvador Perez now here. And he rips one, and another fantastic play. That one from Guerrero Jr. And two outstanding plays in a row. Takeaway base hits from the Razorbacks. We'll go to the bottom half of the inning. Lopez. Looking pretty good out there, giving up one hit, a couple walks today. And there's a grounder to the shortstop. Across the diamond it goes, and there is one out. Beautifully done. Here comes Biggio. So the one away. Biggio to the plate. And strike is in at the knees. 0-1 count here to be to, to Caven. Is it Caven or Coven? Biggio. I don't know how to say his name. Nonetheless, it's an 0-2 count. Jorge is just moving along in this game today, pitching well. We need the bats to wake up, though. Like I've been saying, I said this last episode, I'll say it again. I'm not comfortable hitting with these guys yet, and it's showing. I'm frustrated at the plate overall, but Let's see if we can get them right here. Good eye. One, two. Let's try it again. We'll keep it middle hang down now. Swing and a miss. Sit down. How many is that for you, Lopez, now? Fifth strikeout? Okay, not bad. Here comes Bichette. Strike in. A one. Oh, two. We got command out there at the plate right now. Let's get him rung up here. Oh, he struck out twice already? Eesh. Sorry, buddy. Sorry about you. I'm about to get another one on you. Oh, never mind. He's got a single. He's got something to say about that. Two out single. Both teams now with two hits on the day. And here we go. Got him. So the inning's over. Nothing going there for the Jays. We'll head to the plate now with Pareto. Maybe uh, complete games on either side today. 
it's a rarity to see a complete game lost, but right now the way this game is going, uh, Anderson's heading that way. He's got 82 pitches though, and so he may not be going for too much longer, depending on how this inning goes. Carry out a play. Yep, there's one, one count. Prado. Mm. Okay, good hack at it. It's all right. It's all right. Two, one, two count now here. Fouling off that circle change, staying alive. It's a one, two count yet again. Dribbler back to the shortstop across, and it's good. So one away. Now I'm bringing up Franco. I, I, oh, Franco, good lord. Franco Franco. Fouling that one off. 0 oh, 1. Again, we have this dude's number. We need to get a base knock with you here, Franco. Again, dang it. Same place, two different pitches. Terrible swing. Crap on a freaking cornflake and call it a biscuit. <sighs> That's what I do instead of cursing. I say random stuff. So crap on a cornflake and call it a biscuit. That's what I do. So y'all know. That's how I, I, I don't curse. <laughs> I just say random stuff. 1 0 count. I have a headache right now, too. This is not a great thing. It's not fun to play and record when you have a headache, but I gotta power through it because I want to enjoy this and create contact. Oh, wow. Phillips crushed that ball. But again, we're bad with our swing timing. We're off on that, feet, that heater. Oh. There we go. Good swing. There's a hit. That a baby nine hitter. Right down the middle of the plate as well, that two seam. We'll take it. So it's a two out single. And here will come Mondesi, who's 0 for 3 today, not showing much. Mm. Good stuff there from him, 0-1. And a dribbler back to third, mishandled by Guerrero. And they get us at third, or second. So another non-productive inning. We'll go to the bottom half of the seventh now. Against Travis Shaw. And that's going to get ripped into the gap. That's going to be extra bases. Puig in pursuit. Play coming at second. And he got a double. Crap. And that was a bad pitch to begin with. I shouldn't have thrown it where I did. You got to be careful missing with that pitch. You got to be very careful. All right, so an 0-2 count. Let's go somewhere else, not the knuckle curve. No, nope. I'm ignoring the catcher. He wanted three straight knuckle curves, and I didn't want to throw it. Okay, we'll go back to it now. Good eye. Well, the Blue Jay faithful are on their feet here today at Rogers Center. They're realizing this is the half inning they've been waiting for to get back in this ball game. Down one nothing. And wow, hacked but foul. Come on. We win that battle. Let's go. Get out of here. Good stuff. That's going to bring up McGuire. Okay, 1 0. The goal is to keep that runner from advancing. Okay, we got one in the plate there. Inch a little bit lower now. Yes, sir. Beautiful pitch. Perez likes it. Lopez is digging it. He went. Oh, check it. Are you kidding me? Full count. He spoils off the pitch. Got him! He thought it was ball four. Pick up your bat and get to the dang the, uh, bench over there. Here comes Guerrero. Oh, crap. That's going to score a run. 
as he was all over that ball. Shoot, man. I was having a great game out there with him, too, but Guerrero, we left him a ball that he could drive, and he did what he does well. Hit extra base hits. 0-1 count now here to Gabriel Guerrero. This is gonna be uh this is gonna be Lopez's last half inning out there. He's done after this inning. Shoot. Crap. That's enough. I mean it's repeat. The same thing we just saw. And it's back-to-back -back doubles that bring in now the leading run, and we're in trouble. We're now trailing. See ya. Kennedy, come on in. So Ian Kennedy coming in the game now for Arkansas, now down one run. Shoot. The double train came in, and it gave Toronto the 2-1 two, two lead now here. They've had a big half inning here after they've been one hit the whole game coming into the seventh inning. Everything's come alive for them now. 0-2 count out here, though. Okay. Swing and a miss, got him. Okay, Kennedy gets us out of the inning, but the Jays battle back with a couple of doubles there to get them in the mix and get to this lead. Here comes Ryan Dole now against Nicky Lopez. Foul off the first pitch he sees on a changeup. 0-1 count now here to Lopez. One, one as that misses inside. Wonderful crowd here on hand, 40,000 strong. Two one count. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher when facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive. And we're early on the change up there, fouling it off. Two two count. That was a borderline pitch, but we tried it anyways. This is inside there with the slider. Full count now here with Merrifield on deck. Oh. These borderline pitches, man. 3-2 again. Another one. I mean, he's painting. My bad. All right, we're good. Merrifield. I need your magic, my man. I need you to get going for this team right now. And there's a maybe a base hit. It gets down. It's a single. With one away, Merrifield's aboard. Well done. There we go. And here comes Solaire. They're worried about him over here. They've got all that speed. They know this tying run. Anything can happen. Solaire at the plate, 0 for 2 today. One oh 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 one count now here to Solaire. Fouling off that slider, 0 2 now. He got me. Wow. I freaking hate it. Dang. Screw this freaking game. Oh, I just want to peg him. I want to peg him so badly. Pissed off. I don't like pit. I. I I'm not comfortable hitting with any of these players on this team. Jesus, take the wheel. I'm so mad. I'm punching my dang chair and trying to get my aggression out. It's okay. 
One one count. Can't afford a loss, man. We need to get going. We only have one half inning now. We got to do it against the closer, too. So things are not looking well for us here going into this final stretch. Swing and a miss there, though, by Kennedy. Good job. Good stuff. Here comes Bichette. Strike in. A one. Grounds that one foul. 0 oh, 2 count now here. Let's try to get you high and in. Pop up. Lopez got it. 0 oh, 2. All right, so Hernandez to the plate with two away here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Razorbacks got to get the magic going in this next half inning in the ninth. We have three outs remaining. 1-0 here to Hernandez. And wow, into the shift. Well, that's just fortunate right there. He hits into the shift, or away from the shift, actually. Opposite shift. Yeah, there we go. Shaw's the one that got the magic going back in that seventh inning, was he not? Bad, bad pitch there from Ken Kennedy. Let's try that heater away. Swing and a miss. Okay, we're out of the inning. So we're going to go to the ninth, trailing by one here. And the closer, Ken Giles, will come out of the pen. Puig to the plate. This is... 1-0. Mm. 98 miles per hour. Are you kidding me? And we hit that one down the line. Foot race to the bag. He wins it. So here comes Salvador Perez. And we're early on the slider, that one right there. No one. Why swing at that? Why did I swing at that? Why, 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 why? I'm so much, I'm pressing so badly right now. Take a second. Take a second, get your, get your calm, get your cool, get your collected. 0-2 to Perez. And he'll foul off a slider. That's all we're gonna see from you? We're seeing three sliders. I'm waiting for the heater. When's the heater coming? Is it right here, right now? I'm gearing up for it. One ball, two and there it was. One-two count to Perez. And we're under it. Dad, gum it. Two out. It's going to bring up Nick. Well... Oh, Hearn, you're the best thing I got, and you've been having a slump season right now, or slump session right now, but I'm going to bring him off the bench cold against Ken Giles. Two out here in the ninth for the Razorbacks. Strike one in at the knees, okay? 0-1 count. This is outside there, 1-1 a one -one now. Oh, 
And we're late on that two seam right there. One, two, down to our final strike here in this two, one deficit. Got me looking. He got me looking right there, and we dropped it. Dad gummit, man, that pisses me off. That really pisses me off. We led that game going all the way through. I can't hit with these guys. I can't. It's frustrating to me right now. So we get a beat. We get beat there. We're going to go ahead and super sim just a little bit here because that, that game actually went by really quickly. So I'm going to try to figure out where do I want to play next. I'm um, kind of thinking we may... Man, we got a lot of road games coming in, don't we? Uh, we may go into this Baltimore series. So let's go ahead and simulate the rest of that. 07. Gosh. We got a trade offer here. What we got? AJ Kennedy for uh, Giliotti. What, what? what kind of name is that? Miguel Giliozzi. He's a right fielder. Okay. That's a, that's one of my guys. He's a B potential player. 23 overall. Or 23 years old. They want to give me a catcher? Uh, no. That's a garbage. No. Get the crap out of here with that junk. What is that? All right. We got a 4-3 lead here. Oh, and we hang on and win it. And Emmanuel from the double A. Wow. Torn ligament in his finger. Two months out on the... Here we go. We're down right here. One out. You know what? We got time. Let's do it. Let's jump in and do this. We don't do these very often. So we're, we're sweeping right now in this series. They play a lot better when I'm not playing. They play a lot better when I'm not playing. So Santana leading the league in store, stolen bases. Your mind and Marquez still the top ERA guy in the league. Fantastic to see. All right, so we're coming into this situation here now. And good evening to those of you just joining at us home, or no, yeah, we're at home. Rain, is it raining? No, it looked like rain, it was not rain. So one on at second, one away here, Bubba Starling. Oh my gosh. Okay. 0-1 count. What I actually may need to do is turn off Hall of Fame difficulty, just go back to that dynamic. And he say I win, wow, okay. He said I went. So 0 2 now, one out. One on. I mean, seriously, I, 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 I don't know what to do. I mean, I, maybe the dynamic difficulty needs to be turned on. Maybe Hall of Fame is not something I can do consistently. All right, Pareto. I, I just, I can't focus today. Clearly, we're going to lose this game. My bad team. One, one. Come on, team. Come on, me. Fair enough. Good pitch. One, two counts of Prado. I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm terrible with this team, but whatever. We just got to suck it up. So we get beat. We get beat in that little shindig. That was stupid. That was freaking dumb. I'm sorry, all of my attitudes just shifted, but I don't like losing. I don't like performing poorly. Uh, right now we have been. I, you know what? I want to actually simulate the rest of this month just to see how we do. Okay. Baltimore. Oh, no. Yamara. No! Are you kidding me? There goes our ace. He's done for the year. That's it. He tore his freaking shoulder. Are you serious? I am at a loss right now, y'all. Major injury just happened. A major injury just took place. And now we, we got to scramble for depth pitching-wise down the line here. We'll see. We win that game. We're good. We're a good simulation team, it appears. We're, we're 19 and 12. That's two-game lead in the division still. But our team, y'all, we're scrambling. I mean, look at it. Look at the rotation. Duffy's now got to be our ace like he was called to be before the season started. We got Keller out there who's struggling at 1 and 4, the 11 25 ERA, by the way, y'all. Freaking terrible. Uh, he's moving down. 
Yeah, man, these Ray guys are doing good. Everybody else is doing solid, but right, ugh. That other guy was garbage Justin out there. Was but yeah, the mound, seeing how things have ended today, look. I mean, that hurts for Double A, but Herman, man, you're killing it on the year. And now you're done for six plus months. So let's count out six plus months. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he's done. He's not coming back for the rest of this year, y'all. But regardless... We have a lead in the American League Central with a two-game lead over the Twins. Uh, hitting leaders right now. We don't have any Razorbacks there for that. We got M M Whit Merrifield down there. He's uh, got 42 hits, which is third in the league, uh, which is fantastic. Home run leaders, nobody? No, nope, nobody on that one. RBI leader Salvador Perez is right there with 22, with tied for eighth, uh, which is fantastic. So we got some things going on well for this team overall. I just need to figure out my own performance as a player of the game. I need to get better. I need to improve. But we're going to end today's episode there. If you enjoyed this episode today with our Razorbacks in the Relocation franchise, please hit that thumbs up button, comment down below, hit that notification bell, and feel free to subscribe. But thank you, as always, y'all, for tuning in here today for this video. Uh, unfortunate with some losses there and that major, major injury. But we'll get through it. We'll battle through, as we always will and do. But again, thank you all. Y'all stay safe out there. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you back here in the next video. Y'all take it easy.